Let's talk about a little bit about menopause support. Mm -hmm. um, some people would like to know um, about vitamins and supplements that you could take to sleep soundly and help with the night sweats associated with menopause. Okay, well we're going to talk about things that are over the counter right now because there are many, many things on prescription certainly work very, very well. And we've talked about things like progesterone, estrogens, testosterone, DHEA. But right now we're going to talk about over the counter, safe over the counter type preparations. Uh, <clears throat> and I think the, the, one of the main things you can take is fish oil. Now, fish oil works in several ways. Number one, it acts as an anti-inflammatory throughout your entire body. And a good example is things that, uh, like arthritis, um, excessive estrogen in the body. Uh, certainly, fish oil will help. Also helps cardiovascular-wise. Um, reduces triglycerides. Right? So fish oil, I think, is a must for anybody, anybody that is having any problem with any menopausal symptoms. All right? uh, things like magnesium helps dramatically for cramping. Um, magnesium is a marvelous drug. It's used for more than just cramping. It helps uh, as a supplement, and I say as a supplement, and not to replace a high blood pressure medicine, because it helps with hypertension. But again, I must repeat, it is not used for high blood pressure. It is used as an adjunct in high blood pressure. That's extremely important. It will also help uh, when one is on opioids or one is on pain medication, uh, it helps to make the pain medication more effective. It helps one to sleep. Uh, many opioid dependent patients are magnesium deficient. So taking magnesium certainly will help. And again, I guess one of the most important things uh, is sleep. And by the way, the one thing I did not mention before when it comes to stress, when it comes to weight management, uh, when it comes to um, uh, any of the stressful situations, sleep is by far the most important. And to get eight or nine or ten hours a day is an absolute must for people that are under uh, um, undue stress. Mm -hmm. Do you have a preferred type of magnesium? I mean, glycate, glycinate, citrate, malate, what do you think yes, about let's, that? Yes, let's talk about magnesium because that's very, very interesting. Everybody has heard of citrate of magnesia. Well, that's magnesium citrate. And certainly one can use magnesium citrate. It has a slight undesirable effect, if one might say. Uh, it gives you loose bowels. And that's something you certainly don't need if you're going to take magnesium. I would recommend the magnesium glycinate, G-L-Y-C-I-N-A-T-E. And certainly Professional Supplement Center has a number, a number of, uh, of magnesiums that have magnesium glycinate in it. Uh, that does not cause diarrhea, and you get excellent absorption of the magnesium. What type of dosage would you suggest? Uh, usually about 600 milligrams a day. You probably even go up to 1,000 milligrams a day on the magnesium glycinate. And you may take it uh, uh, throughout the day, mm, by the way. In divided doses. And absolutely, when you want to sleep at night, you take it about an hour before you go to bed, and that indeed will help with sleep. And I've also heard that it helps with restless, restless leg syndrome. Have you, do you have any thoughts mm -hmm. on that? Uh, there have been reports that it helps with restless leg. Um, but again, magnesium is an absolutely great drug because there are so many things, so many things that one can use uh, with magnesium. In fact, I even have, I think I even, I, had a, I even have a list here. And what they talk about, they talk about things like insomnia, restless leg, stress, back pain, uh, migraine, headaches, nervousness, uh, high blood pressure, hyperactivity, osteoporosis. Um, these certainly um, are things to consider. Um, there is not strong evidence on all of these. On some of them there is strong evidence that it works. On others, um, it's something that you might want to consider. Well, I think that's great information because most of us know we should be taking calcium, but I do find that a lot of people come in and they're not even taking magnesium. Ah, yes. Uh, when one takes uh, calcium, it's a good idea to take magnesium. And you want about half the magnesium as compared to the calcium, right? And this helps with the absorption of calcium, mm. all right? Mm. Magnesium is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful mineral, right? And we all should, we all should be cognizant of what our uh, magnesium levels are, and certainly a physician can do that. And uh, once you find out, you can then take appropriate, uh, uh, appropriate action. 
All right, well, thank you. And I have another question um, in regard to the menopause support. What about the dangers in taking progesterone and estrogen for menopause? Mm -hmm. Well, certainly uh, when you say estrogen, progesterone, or even testosterone or DHEA, it has to be under the auspices of a physician. So the doctor will be monitoring you on a regular basis. Is too much estrogen good for you? Absolutely not. Is too much progesterone or too much testosterone or too much of anything a good thing? Absolutely not. What you're looking for is you're looking for balance. And that is the secret, balance. All of your life you've been balanced when you think about it. Right? When one has menses, right, uh, you go up, you go down, up and down, okay? But as you reach menopausal age, those things don't happen anymore. Your progesterone levels start to fall dramatically, and then your estrogen levels start to rise, and your testosterone very, very slowly diminishes. So what we try to do is we try to bring you back into balance, and that is the secret, balance. As a matter of fact, in life, balance is the secret to everything. I do agree. Um, we have a lot of women that ask about hot flashes. I think that's something a lot of women are going through. And um, some of the women would like to know, when they first start to um, have some of those hot flashes, is there something they can start taking right away and hopefully stop those? Yeah, there's a number of things. And the first thing I mentioned before, and I, and I said I absolutely love, love fish oil. And many times fish oil will reduce that inflammatory process and help to reduce some of the flashes. Things like magnesium, we're talking about the milder things. Uh, there is also a progesterone cream over the counter, right, which they use sometimes. But again, what I would do is before I start taking any of the hormones, mm -hmm. I certainly would want to have my levels checked to find out exactly where I am on, on the hormone scale. So with most of these things, you could start with some of the basics, the fish oil, the vitamin C, magnesium, Absolutely. those are good for mm -hmm. everyone, and then move on to some testing and if you didn't get some good results with that. Absolutely, products. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And again, there are a number of uh, products over the market, uh, uh, over the counter. Um, a good example is, I think Metagenics has one called Estravera, mm -hmm. which ver works very well taking two tablets a day in order to reduce symptoms of, uh, of, of 